If you struggle with the needle, hustle with your people, stop doing evil, juggling leads, fool, ducking enemies when they see you. Or if you say I need it, they come in a police suit, but you make it home when you're running and you free suits. This for the man, them in jail till they free you. Bang on your cell, raise hell if you need to, don't let the system defeat you. This for the sisters trapped in a flat with a free you, sacked in a brat or a wretch like free two. All the stress that it needs to be cool, speak truth, turn up the EQ. In the middle of a mad debate, if they say I ain't the best, then at least I'm a candidate. A hundred pound, have your sound for the ground to shake, some of the money, what pounds was paid. Yo, hey, don't flop, fiddler's elbow, Christmas card, yeah. make some noise! Just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, we're about to get this shit popping. Uh, on my left hand side. The guy I haven't made an album with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my man, Ambi. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. To the right, we've got Locksmith. Let's go. Let's go. Me. All right, first round is on Locksmith. Let's get into the yeah. Ready, yeah? Yeah. My last opponent, it wasn't a hard bout. I battled a guy with a tiny temper and made another one pass out. <laughs> and then I asked for Am Bam Bigelow. <laughs> Too fat to pin him though, but I've got this, because my killer quotes, submission holds. And this like Alan Sugar to a kid that's new at an interview. I hope you brought good references for me to see, because your CV, weak. And you? Could have dressed in a killer suit Cause the word is, you don't deserve this work I'm about to give to you um. You see my art, it ain't random thoughts It's both selective and creative Like what Banksy draws mm. they, they know I can spray, but of you they're not sure You ain't a breath of fresh air Nobody think that I'm be pure <laughs> And you remind me of a drug traffic lord Not because of your lifestyle and fancy Porsche no, cause you have a lot of weight that is stored. <laughs> and you give off a type of feel of an MC who eats plenty. And came to don't flop, not to apply your skill, but cause you overheard MCs were getting eaten, roasted, fried <laughs> and grilled. <laughs> so, your, your image I see through. You come to these events on a peace move. You don't want beef stew. No. You just want beef stew. <laughs> so I don't know why you brag and boast. You're just a massive joke. So fat and gross, I bet you have to go to Giacomo to grab your clothes off the rack to post. Mm. And you just multi this and multi that. But that obsession's got you growing gross and fat. Because even your grocery snacks mm. are now bought in multi packs. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? I use my mind like Scarlett Johansson in this this movie I've seen twice. So when you take this L, you see why. Now that's a mean approach to speech and quotes. That's why I don't need to reach for phones and speak to tone. Cause this chap P building a machine at home that the rest of the league need to clone. Mm. And debatable, uh-uh. This is where the confusion stops. I'm gonna crucify you, watch me nail this. I'm not the dude to cross. Mm. You're someone I felt I had two face, but I'm as evil as Judas was. So when reviewing locks, they'll be like, Jesus Christ, he killed him in plain sight while we viewed in shock. Mm. Am I losing shocks? Mm. Time. Mm. <laughs> A load of Ambi name flips. Damn, that is clever. Where'd you get your inspiration from? Every fucking battler ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I heard you're switching it up for this battle. A brand new locksmith. You clearly came to rap. But I feel honoured, mate. You changing your style just for me. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Drop the ego, mate. It's not like a good battle from us will ever occur. We're both terrible at this battling stuff. <laughs> How is that not a lesson you've learned? I mean, everyone else battling today is going to get a better return. You couldn't even convincingly teach us that Arsenal were better than Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> But hopefully you change that bit about when you battle, where you explain every scheme after you've done it like it gives you an adrenaline rush. Because <laughs> explaining every scheme after you've done it just makes it seem like you think this lot are incredibly dumb. But maybe we don't react because this was a shit setup followed by a terrible punch like, yo, did you hear what I said? I said when I spark plugs this man, oh yeah, we get a fucking engine, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you're the better man here, right? So I get why you feel so rejected. I mean, you've gone from Briggs and Enigma on sunburn cards to this being the battle you accepted. Mm. And the irony of this being a Christmas event, well, that must fucking hurt, because you'll do all the work, but the fat guy with the beard will still get all of the credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But you've been saying online I was going to make jokes at your race. But it's you that brings up your roots every battle. Talking about them horrible days, but you're like live winter. Sure you've got a fantastic point that you're trying to make, but a rap battle, mate? Wrong fucking time, wrong fucking place. But thank you. Thank you for continually confirming you're black. What a great secret you had. With a revelation like that, it only feels right that I give you one back. Please don't tell anyone, I'm actually fat. <laughs> <laughs> so really though, any fat jokes you're planning today, they need to get the fuck out my face. Because I might give off this impression like I'm untouchable, mate, but they really hurt my feelings. <laughs> don't you think I've got enough on my plate? <laughs> You say I speak about the race angle. Bruv, I don't know about that, but I'll split your melanin with intent. And it's funny, I'm the one that used the race angle when no one knows what this pig meant. <laughs> oh. 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 Watch me run DMC. Put this fraud to shame. My raps rock and even my cockney mates are forced to say, Oi, you're an hero, Smith. And that's why <laughs> nobody can walk this way. Mm. Yes. I bought a round for the round, so round for round, I ain't slowing the pace. And it's easy to run rings around you because you are oval in shape. <laughs> and you are big, I admit, quite large. Buff, my biggest opponent by far. But get in my face and try stop. <laughs> I had to step back, and you see that gastric bypass. Mm. And when I step back, I see you need a gastric bypass. Oh. But bruv, I've also got the maddest senses, so if it's a hint of beef, I bet both of us detect it. But, <laughs> but you can get it with my right in hand or my left hand, brother. I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> and this is like watching Incredible Hulk when it gets sick on Netflix, because when receiving a large body, so only writer's material gets ripped. Mm. Now it's locks. I'm ahead by clear miles. A mark up above the rest. It's curtains. Your raps are parting. I just come to make you hair style. Mm. And what? Shuffle co Sanja? Well, tell your ghostwriter to show you how to flow tighter and control ciphers. <laughs> Bro, I'm. I'm experienced. I could outrhyme you with Alzheimer's and that experience. You see me spill what's in our glass? Mm. Cause I'm an old timer. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, you're fat. Flabby and whack. Have calorie packed sandwiches, snacks. Every two breaths has to relax or asthma attack. So, Bagnall's camera can catch. Ambies collapse. These punches hit. Make you kip. I'm putting in the labor. You can't handle these raps. I'm going with fucking ham on this pig like a David Cameron attack. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right, and you're about to pay the penalty and wreck the loser squad. And you ain't psycho, you're hit and miss. This dude is really washed. And everyone in England knows what happens when you put Stuart on the spot. Nah, oh yeah, I'm a major threat. Think not? I'm gaining rep. Bruv, this the office party. Well, last year it was. This year, it dawned on me. I'm feeling like David Brent as he shakes a leg. Because I'm entertaining guests while... Showing you the basic step. Load of fat jokes again. Mm -hmm. uh, so how you think you're gonna roll with me? Ironically, the best thing about your round, Tony D. <laughs> <laughs> But you've been set up for this battle. Because either way, I sort of win. If you're better today, they'll just say it was too early and I wasn't ready for him. But if I'm better today, I used you as a come up and made you look incredibly shit. But don't go thinking 
that it wasn't you asking for me. You started this beef. So when you said you wanted Warlock, this Warlock was ready to put scars on your cheek like the mark of a beast. And now I'm stood here in front of Mr. Businessman, the one who likes to act like he fathered the scene. But you lot should find that hard to believe. That's just marketing schemes. Neither of us are palming a fee with sparring for free. So I guess all that goat talk just shows you and false prophet don't fall too far from a tree. <laughs> But the ego on you is incredible. I heard it's gotten so big now you've actually had to insure it. <laughs> Honestly, I called him arrogant once. He told me he was the least arrogant guy. This side of Europe. <laughs> How have you even got past the Uncle Tone quality control? I mean, every time you rap, he must die within. In one of your tracks, you actually rhymed retirement with pint of gin. <laughs> retirement? Pint of gin. <laughs> Time, I win. <laughs> that is fucking bad. You followed that up with a track called I'll Never Let You Down. <laughs> Think I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> How have you not clocked at being the whack one out of your entire circle of friends? That literally makes you a black version of Zen. <laughs> We can all see you sponging off your mate's personality because your persona's weak. And you're too much of a bitch to live up to the fact that you live a life of broken dreams. You're at the back of all of his battles. Like Tony D! Tony D! <laughs> Turning to the rest of us like, give it a minute guys, I'm positive he'll notice me. <laughs> Tony, please! <laughs> you fucking beg. <laughs> yeah, you out rap me today. Do you know what I do better than you every fucking day? Maintain some self-respect. <laughs> Yo. Yo. You criticise me for showing my boy support, like that's wrong. They just mad because I amputee and they ain't got a leg to stand on. Ooh. Right, I see you go from placid tosser <laughs> yeah, to angry monster. <laughs> but all I see is a fat imposter who stumbles through his rounds like a battered boxer. Mm -hmm. And Maltese is all you have and you're forcing that talking crap. Confidence what your performance lack. Probably because you have the build that a doorman has. And in, all your, and in all your years of drawing gash, I bet you found it hard to find your balls and bag like a football coach for naughty lads. <laughs> you, so, you consume, so you consume the contents of an entire freezer. Yeah? And now you get so tired after 90 seconds trying to grind and please her, your wife's probably cheated with some grimy geezers. So you now gain some yards, put in a helmet protection and catch a forward pass because you're just the wide receiver. That's life. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Bruv, <laughs> when I look at this sloth in the face, I can tell when he's at home scoffing on cakes, he gets tired just watching the chase. <laughs> <laughs> And to discover your gums, you go far and wide, cause brother, you're lost to Bumba Club. <laughs> so you settled with those tattoos, cause that's the only sleeves what can comfortably cover your arms. <laughs> and here's some more great advice to change your life. If you slow down on the plates of fries, you will no longer suffer with chafing fries. <laughs> Cause your diet, it needs adjusting. Cause you look fucking disgusting. You're so big you can't even run, king, and your belly's about to pop star, and every breath and step you take must sting. <laughs> Bruv, I am trying to be the greatest. When you talk, you whisper. <laughs> When you talk, you whisper. Your voice is in need of training. And you ain't got your own style, just repeating phrases. So I don't care what ammo you had to pack for poetic justice. I hit him up, because this league's in need of changes. Mm. Mm. And be damned. You getting smoked so bad, I could catch cancer, fam. Mm. This ain't a strain for me. What I roll with raw. We should have done this in Amsterdam. Mm. And to settle the score, I'm used to handling 2.0 because I'm a ganja man. Yeah. And my lines, no matter how many times you flip it, you still get a result, brother. It's like an ambigram. Mm. Right? This battle for me, it was sort of a part all from the start. Because fat with multis, that's all that you are. So I do this for promo and to practice performance and bars in this sort of a laugh. That's why I've done stuff like Council the Ritz when Rowan had asked. And you, well, I've watched you battle outdoors and we know that's a part. 
So for, two, <laughs> so, so for 219 views, you'll probably be flowing it park. And that surname more suits you, Stuart, because we watched you grow from your bark and then flow on the grass. Mm. Time. Let's go. You mentioned me and my missus. Well, that angle had me groaning since the last 15 years we've all just watched you be Tony's bitch. Oh. Oh, Jesus. 15 years? What? You've been watching me for ages, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> when you started battling Locksmith, you had some right swag. To snap back, clean shaven, that white tank, that 1990 boy band look was tight, man. <laughs> Rocking that big old chain, looked like it came with a price tag, but you don't wear that chain no more, do you, Locksmith? Why is that? <laughs> Track I mean, one. Shh. I mean, that, that necklace was nice, mate. To afford that, you must have played the stock exchange. That wasn't pocket change, but now you just rock that nice bracelet instead, don't you? And some might say that bracelet is off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that aren't with me, Locksmith got his necklace popped off his fucking neck by two children. <laughs> and that bracelet's made from the only fucking parts he had left. But I'm sure you're all with me today when I just say I'm glad you're okay. It's better they nicked your necklace when they could have left you half dead and it could have been much worse, mate. They could have robbed your car instead. Oh, wait, anyway. <laughs> not having a chain, car dignity or self-respect. That's got to make life awkward. When them kids had their hands through your fucking window saying, give me your keys, why did you get robbed? Just drive forward. <laughs> I checked you online, and you really get to work. Tried to keep it under them Facebook limitations, didn't you, mate? But just went berserk and wrote that bio about yourself. It's 457 words. 457 words, mate. That is fucking boring. You said write a bio, bio, not biography, or entire life story. And don't write it in the third person. That is the saddest thing. <laughs> Writing about yourself in the third person just makes you look like a massive prick. At least that's what Ambi thinks. <laughs> Fuck it, let's finish on some facts. If you never lose, how did this pathetic goon draw out the fucking best in you? So you're just acting like it was the greatest breeze taking me, but you didn't come to this battle thinking you could reign supreme, because if you did, you wouldn't have had to change for me, but you've switched up everything about you. And that tells us everything we need to know. So you're painting this picture, but that's just trying to disguise the real bitch that's been in front of our eyes the whole fucking time. That's a Da Vinci code. Uh. And in regards to your tweets to me last week, about how you couldn't give a fuck about the scene? If you really don't like it, bruv, fucking leave. Time. <laughs> Ambi just got the first and the second locked with the first. Yeah, I was feeling after the first round, I was feeling after the first round, I was feeling after the first round, I was feeling after the second 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 round, it's a really tough battle to judge. I gave it to Locksmith just on the first two. The third, the flip game was incredible for both of them. It was nice to see as well. Um, and Ambi's third round was fine. It was really sick. They were all like, it's good back and forth, but just about. Yeah. Yeah. Judging this motherfucking battle, this fucking battle, best I've seen both of them do. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Ambi got the first. Uh, Locksmith got the last. Really good battle, good flips. Uh, I think Locksmith just packaged his uh, bars and verses a bit better, but uh, Ambi was really funny. Um, he was getting on with that. Uh, uh, you know, he sold the ATK and knocking long. Uh, I think Locksmith took the first two rounds and I think the third round to Ambi, so 2 1 Locksmith. Yo, just came back from a crazy battle with Locksmith and Ambi, and the winner of that battle, we just got back from the judges, it is Locksmith. I hope you bought flows and dirt that are holding weight, because this will be no debate, because it's over. Wait.
Oh, 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 oh,